The diagram shows a ramp where the slope is defined as the constant ratio of the change in y over the change in x. If the slope is constant, the line would always be straight. Now, if we try to find a change for y, we need to know where y begins and where y ends. And, of course, the same must be done for x. We need to know where x begins and where x ends. To do this, we use the coordinate values of two points on the line. Then subtract the coordinates values of y and the coordinates values of x. The equation to find the slope m is m equals y for the second point minus y for the first point over x for the second point minus x for the first point. For example, the line beginning or passing through point 2, 5 and ending or passing through point negative 3, negative 5 has a slope of negative 5 minus 5 over negative 3 minus 2. Solving the equation, negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10 and negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. Divide. The slope is positive 2 or 2 over 1. It doesn't matter which point is labeled 1 or which point is labeled 2, as long as we don't mix the coordinates. Doing it backwards, you get the same result. 5 minus negative 5 equals 10, over 2 minus negative 3 equals 5. 10 divided by 5, you still get 2. Notice that the vertical, the up and down, difference between the two points is 10. This is the difference of the values of y. And the horizontal distance between the two points is 5. This is the difference of the values of x. If the y distance is 10 and the x distance is 5, 10 divided by 5 equals 2. It checks. It agrees with the previous work that the slope is 2. Another example. Find the slope of the line passing through points 5, negative 4, and 7, 8. If y of 2 equals 8 and y of 1 equals negative 4, then 8 minus negative 4. If x of 2 equals 7 and x of 1 equals 5, then 7 minus 5. Solving the equation, 8 minus negative 4 equals 12 over 7 minus 5 equals 2. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. The slope is 6. Every time y changes 6, x changes 1. 